Hello and welcome back to this very short vlog. If I look tired, that's because I am. I am running a Kickstarter whilst working full time, whilst trying to finish this comic up, and uh, yeah, it's been a big, uh, big time. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys about running a Kickstarter and like the process of it a little bit. I also wanted to update you guys that the project is now fully, fully funded on Kickstarter, which is really exciting. That means the comic is definitely going to be printed and yeah I need to finish it but I'm really happy that I get to share it with everyone and it's going to be so cool to be able to have like four short horror comics and just like a collection of horror comics and I'm already getting like excited to start on the next one uh the haunted water park but that's another story and uh yeah so I just thought I would share my day going through the motions of working full-time whilst also running a kickstarter trying to advertise that trying to do youtube trying to do etsy I've put my Etsy on holiday mode for now because I realised maybe, just maybe, it's a little bit too much to handle. And uh, just doing the Kickstarter now, so trying to just let people know on Instagram because Instagram is so rubbish um, with the algorithm, so I don't know who's seeing it, so I'm just trying to post a lot to let people know that it's live. I also messaged people on Etsy who had previously bought my comics to just let them know. Um, I felt a little bit intrusive doing that, so I'm not sure if it was the right thing to do but then people said thank you for letting them know and also if they loved my other comics like they I only messaged people who bought them and gave them like five star reviews and said they like enjoyed them so I felt like they would want to know that it's there I don't know let me know if, if it's it felt a little bit scummy but I don't know if it's like fully scummy or if it's okay um but yeah letting you guys know as well again sorry if I keep boring you if you've seen this multiple times but the kickstarter is live if you fancy taking a look but yeah, I just uh, working this morning and doing my meetings and I had a lot of work to catch up on. And then I decided on my lunch break, I wanted to draw Olivia, the slow and all at once disappearance of Olivia Newbury because I had her on my mind and I thought I could do a little teaser because basically, um, if you back the Kickstarter, there's a tier where you can also get the other comics or you can just add on one or all of the comics as well as an add-on thing so I just wanted to share that that that's an option because maybe people don't know that as well I really miss drawing with just my fountain pen and going straight in without any pencil because that's what I like to do in my sketchbook and since I've been doing the comic and finishing it up I haven't really been doing that so much so it's nice to take a little break from everything and draw Olivia um, with her hand anyway and I failed at this hand and so I was like I hate that hand I'm gonna draw another hand and so in lies the problem of using a fountain pen without any pencils <laughs> in the end I think I really like the way this drawing came out I had to jazz it up a little bit in Photoshop, which you'll see in a moment, but it was just where the ink bled a little bit from the fountain pen. I have this fountain pen that is really good with alcohol markers, like the blue ink never smudges, but since using this black ink, it kind of smudges a little bit sometimes, um, but I think it just takes a longer time to dry, so I think I was just impatient. And yeah, so I just go in Photoshop and just rub out those bits of like smudged ink, which isn't like a big deal, so it wasn't so difficult. And then I just posted it on Instagram. But yeah, this is the drawing that I did and I kind of like, kind of like it, yeah. And also I like this idea of having her like beckoning 
taking you into the woods. Um, if you haven't read that comic, that might be a bit confusing, but if you've read the comic, maybe you'll be like, ooh, that's, that's cool. So I wanted to do a little nod to that and uh, maybe I'll draw Emily and other characters as well. I'm just thinking about delving back into those stories and it would be really cool. So maybe I will do that, but yeah. So back at work um, after my lunch break, uploading Instagram, seeing if people respond, what to do, trying to do more reels as well, which is a bit strange. I don't know, I like TikTok, but reels are like a little bit slightly different format. So it's like, oh, I do TikTok and then you do an Instagram. It's like the reel is slightly different, so it's more work on top, but I think I should aim to try and do more reels as well let people know it's just basically marketing 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 now um trying to let people know about the project because obviously if we get more funds the better it is the more i can print uh the more i can print of all the comics and it can also do the stretch goals so it'll be really good basically i can afford my bills <laughs> that would be great and yeah so that's basically it this is a really short vlog and uh yeah i just hope that you guys are doing well and everything's going well for you because it's going well for me so far with the case star i'm very excited <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like before i've launched it i was so anxious like no one's gonna back it even though people have backed stuff before and people are still consistently buying my comics i still have that self-doubt and have to tell myself just go for it and i'm sure everybody else feels like that sometimes so if you're listening to this just go for it do the thing um sometimes we fail sometimes we don't but it's just about doing it and learning and uh, that's my takeaway for this vlog so i hope that you enjoyed watching this really really short vlog really really short and uh i'll see you next time bye Stop. what is that claw what is that Really?